Have the secrets of aging been unlocked? Scientists think they're onto something. They even made this statement in research they've been doing on our friends in the animal kingdom. It sounds dramatic to say that they don't age at all, but basically their likelihood of dying does not change with age once they're past reproduction. All right, put it this way. Scientists say they have discovered what keeps certain species from aging, possibly opening the door to longer lifespans for humans. This, in a new report at Study Finds, an international team led by researchers from Penn State and Northeastern Illinois University say they have unlocked the secrets of aging among reptiles and amphibians worldwide. Across 77 different species from around the globe, researchers found some extremely long lifespans lasting for more than a century. You say, well, these animals are just sitting at the top of the respective food chains. Not so fast, smarty pants. The team found there's more to it than that. Some of the creatures living on Earth simply aren't aging at all. Could that be you someday? Well, we'll get to that in a bit here, but the answer is a definite maybe. <laughs> Researchers say one of the prime examples is Jonathan the Seychelles giant tortoise. The ancient turtle recently became the oldest living land animal in the world after reaching the age of 190. The new study collects data from 107 wild populations worldwide by tagging and releasing them rather than just using animals in captivity. Their goal was to compare the variations in ectotherm aging and longevity with that of endotherms, that's warm-blooded animals like humans. Those findings reveal that tortoises, crocodilians, and salamanders all age particularly slowly and have exceptionally long lifespans for creatures of their size. And protective characteristics like the hard shell of a turtle actually contribute to biological aging, almost stopping completely. Okay, if this means I have to grow a shell, that might be a deal breaker. But wait, there's more. One theory suggests that since cold-blooded animals use external temperatures to regulate their body temperatures, they have a lower metabolism and therefore age more slowly. Meanwhile, since warm-blooded creatures generate their own heat, they have higher metabolism and age faster. However, the study debunked that hypothesis, finding that ectotherms, the cold-blooded critters, have aging rates and lifespans ranging well above and well below the lifespans of endotherms, that's the warm-blooded creatures like us. Study authors say this suggests that how an animal regulates their body temperature doesn't really affect their longevity at all. Senior author David Miller, an associate professor of wildlife population ecology at Penn State, said, quote, That relationship was only true for turtles, which suggests that turtles are unique among ectotherms. So maybe I don't have to grow the shell after all. The study found that at least one species in each ectotherm group displayed little to no signs of aging throughout their lives. These groups included frogs and toads and crocodilians and turtles. Study authors say the protective phenotypes hypothesis suggests that animals with particular physical or chemical traits that give them protection in the wild live much longer than their more vulnerable peers. These traits include armored skin, spines, shells, and even poisonous venom. I don't have that either. Basically, this protection allowed them to evolve in a way that included negligible aging, since basically nothing else was killing them. As Professor Beth Renke of Northeastern Illinois University puts it, quote, they're more likely to live longer and that exerts pressure to age more slowly. We found the biggest support for protective phenotype hypothesis in turtles. Again, this demonstrates that turtles as a group are unique. Ann Bronikowski, co-senior author and professor of integrative biology at Michigan State, said, quote, Understanding the comparative landscape of aging across animals can reveal flexible traits that may prove worthy targets for biomedical study related to human aging. Suffice to say, we're probably a long way off from 300-year-old humans, but it sure is a step in the right direction. And I, for one, can say that if I'm 300 years old, I hope I don't look like I'm 300 years old. So let's get to work on this, folks. You can check out more info on this and other studies by clicking the link in the description below and heading over to studyfinds.com.